Hey there, Gemini, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading for the week of March 31st through April 6th, and we're going to take a look at your past, your present, and your near future energies. Also, Gemini, please remember, because this is a general reading, energies do go both ways. So I could be picking up on your energy or your person's energy, so take the energies as they resonate for you. tell you right now I don't know if this is about a connection but this is definitely about you you are trying to achieve or you desire to achieve a sense of balance within yourself and I feel like it's a balance between you 3d you the the you know Gemini that I'm talking to and your higher self so the main energy for your reading this week is the six of pentacles you want balance you want equal give and take you want to be able to usually the six of pentacles is kind of like about um equal exchanges of energy now i feel like with you it's just you lacking balance between what your higher self is trying to guide you to do and what you want to do so we'll see in the recent past you get the two of wands the judgment and the star so there's definitely a desire that you have here and it's not just you desiring this this is something that your higher self is connected to you need to make a decision about it though it's like you want um, I don't know, let's assume your higher self really wants to do something and you need to decide whether or not you're going to listen and follow and go ahead and do that or not. And what you're showing me here is I need more time. You're dragging your feet. You're kind of prolonging this whole thing because I feel like you don't want to make this decision. And I don't know why. Now, in the current situation, you get the magician, the king of wands, the ace of wands. Again, you're coming up, you're manifesting and you're like, yo, spirit, please Put me in this position to embody the king of wands energy king of wands is somebody who is like very bold takes control acts based on his intuition this person is very very confident and i feel like you're lacking that and so you're like okay i can't make the decision spirit i'm manifesting you giving me the energy giving me the ability to follow my passion follow my desire you know act on this i don't know what this is we'll see when we clarify but whatever it is it's like you know that you want to move in this direction. You're feeling called to move in this direction and you keep not wanting to. You keep fighting it and I don't know why. Now, in the near future, you get the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Hanged Man. You're really overthinking your emotional balance. You're really overthinking your emotional stability. And again, what that's doing is it's keeping you frozen. It's keeping you paused where you're like, you know what? I don't know what to do. I can't decide what to do. You've tried contacting your higher self, and I feel like in the current situation, you ask for guidance, and then in the near future, you're showing me again, the mind is coming in. Let me talk to the mind. Let my ego come in and tell me where my happiness lies, where my emotional balance lies. This is going to be intense. I haven't even clarified this, and already I'm just kind of like, what is this decision that Gemini doesn't want to make? Let's take, okay. So, for the Six of Pentacles, you get the Moon, the King of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. This could also have to do with your stability, your career, your job, right? This doesn't necessarily have to do with a relationship. We'll see when we clarify. But what you are showing me here is that you're not really focusing on the issue. You're not focusing on the problem. If I were to look at you and be like, Gemini, how are you doing? You'd be like, me? I'm amazing. I'm good. I'm stable. I have everything I need. I feel good. I feel great. Deep, deep down, though, that's not the case. Deep, deep down, there's something else which needs to be balanced out here. There's something else which is taking place, and you're not even showing me what that is. It's like I'm trying to get to it, and you're just showing me like, nope, nope, nope. Look at, look at surface level me. Look at, you know, 3D world me. I'm good. I'm great. Yeah, there's something deep down that I don't want to deal with, but I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm totally balanced. Okay. Let's see if we can't figure this out. Let's take a look at your recent past. I want to see what the Two of Wands is for you in the recent past. The Two of Wands is clarified by the Six of Swords, the World, the Chariot. You walked away from something or you wanted to, but you kept postponing it. It's almost like you're showing me um, 
something here needed to come to an end. Something here needed to, like, I needed to move away from this. I needed to close out this chapter in this book. I needed to just put an end to whatever this is. But, but you were just waiting. You were prolonging it for some reason. And again, I feel like you knew what you needed to do, what you were called to do, what your higher self was guiding you to do. And you were just kind of like, eh, give me some more time. I need more time. I need more time. What is this? Spirit, show me what this is. Let's see what the judgment is for you in the recent past. A very vague reading, Gemini. The judgment is clarified by the sun, the seven of pentacles, and the tower. So again, you are showing up under the energy of, I'm happy. I'm great. Things are working out. I'm investing my energy in the right place. Da, 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 da. And then the tower comes in. Something took place here, which it's almost like your higher self was like, okay, enough with this superficial bullshit, Gemini. You can't keep pretending you're happy. You can't keep pretending like everything's good. You can't keep pretending like, you know, everything's working out the way you want it to. No, you're lying to yourself. And when there's a discord, when there's a disagreement between your higher self and your 3D world self, right? You're pretending everything's fine, but deep down there's something else going on. It usually results in a tower moment where spirit's like, okay, this whole thing, whatever we're doing here, it's not sustainable long term. We have to have this whole building, this whole facade come crumbling down. And I feel like that's exactly what happened here in the recent past with the tower and the judgment. It's almost like spirit was like, you need to get clear that this whole mask you're putting on, it ain't cutting it. It's, it's not working out. Let's take a look at the star for you in the recent past. And again, this could be your energy. This could be your person's energy, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign. I am getting a lot of pentacles here. Okay. So the star is clarified by the page of swords, the hangman, which you get again in the same row, and the near future, the three of pentacles. You definitely want to work on something with somebody else. There's another energy showing up here for you where you're like, hey, I want to meet you halfway. I need you to meet me halfway. We got to work on this. Now, this isn't screaming love to me quite yet. So this could be a friendship. This could be a work collaboration. But either way, you have this desire to work with this person for both of you to meet halfway. But again, you're stopping yourself from doing that for some reason. I don't know why, but you're just kind of like, you know what? No, 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 no. Yeah, this is what I want, but we're not going to act based on how we want. We need to come in with the mind. And again, you're showing me the page of swords here, which is letting me know that you're coming in and you're like, let me just question this whole thing. I'm not ready to take action yet because I need to sit here and think about it some more. Hmm, super vague. If you feel comfortable sharing in the comments what this is in the recent past, it's not screaming love to me, but you're, you're being so vague that it's making me think like this is something pretty touchy that you don't want to take a look at or you don't want me to take a look at. You're kind of like keeping it under wraps. Let's take a look at your current situation. I want to see what this magician is for you in the current situation. The magician is clarified by the magician again, the emperor, the ace of pentacles. You're manifesting a brand new beginning, a brand new start here. And again, you guys, this could have to do with your career. You're getting so many pentacles here that it's letting me know that this could, ha could have to do with your finances, your money, your job, your career, something like that. You are manifesting a position of power, being in a position of power and having that brand new beginning, starting over, starting fresh in a very powerful position. What you're showing me is like, I want to be almost kind of like reborn. I want to start over, but I don't want to be where I, I'm at right now. I want to be, I want to have this brand new beginning and be confident and feel empowered and feel stable and feel like I'm in control. And you're manifesting that, which is letting me know if you're manifesting it, you're not currently feeling that way. Let's take a look at the King of Wands energy. The King of Wands is very similar to the Emperor um, energetically, so it could make sense that that's what you're manifesting. Let's see. Okay. The King of Wands is clarified by the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. You're really confused because you're coming in with an energy of, I want to embody this confident, powerful, dominant energy. But on the other hand, I'm also carrying a lot of love for this person, for this situation. So there is another energy here <clears throat> that you are 
emotionally involved with and you do want to open up in this person's direction i feel like you want to express something you want to communicate with them somehow but you're very very confused around should i do this should i not do this do i follow my feelings or do i follow my mind again <clears throat> you guys may not even be talking because i'm having a hard time speaking right now like my throat feels like it's like not communicating with me not working with me that could be what happened in the recent past where you felt like you needed to walk away you felt for some reason that this wasn't working out for you or there was like a discord a disagreement between you your higher self and your 3d world but either way here in the near future i definitely see a desire to want to open up to want to express something and it's coming from a very loving place but because you're confused i don't feel like you're doing that let's take a look at the ace of wands for you in the current situation <clears throat> Oof, the ace of wands man you're really fighting with yourself here the ace of wands is clarified by the ace of wands again the fool the seven of swords you have this desire to go and move and do in a specific direction and you're showing me this is kind of risky it's kind of risky for me to act based on how i feel now i don't know if it's actually risky like oh this person might reject me they might not respond well or you're just perceiving this as a risk because you're so up in your head about it Either way, though, it's like part of you is being pulled in the direction of follow your passion, do what feels good to you, right? The other part of you, and that's your mind, is coming in and it's like, what are you, crazy? Absolutely do not do what you feel, do not based on, don't go based off of that. We need to look at this logically. That's why you're manifesting the emperor. That's why you're manifesting feeling confident, like being able to make a decision and confidently commit to that decision. Because I feel like you keep going back and forth. And again, you're showing me this in the current situation. You want to open up. You want to express how you feel. You have love for this person. Then you're like, ah, forget it. You know what? We're not going to do that. We're absolutely not going to do that. Forget acting based on our passion. Forget taking the leap of faith. Give it all up. You keep bouncing back and forth. Now I understand why you're manifesting this emperor, you embodying this emperor. It's because your heart, your heart, your passion, call it whatever you want, and your mind are just kind of like fighting with each other and i don't feel like either one's winning i don't feel like either one's losing it's like you keep going back and forth between them i feel like this definitely has to do with a connection but i don't feel like the connection is what's causing this this conflict internally within you i feel like this is this is deeper this is there's something that i wouldn't be surprised if the page of pentacles showed up because i feel like there's something that you're meant to learn from all of this let's take a look at your near future i want to see what the nine of cups is for you in the near future yep dude okay you and this person are a divine pair for the nine of cups in the near future you get the king of swords queen of swords the devil you and this person are definitely a divine pair you are a match intellectually um and energetically right they're showing up with the same energy that you're showing up with i mean you're showing up a little bit more right because you're showing up as the king of swords and i don't assign gender to my cards your energy is the king of swords they're showing up as the queen of swords which is like they're showing up a little bit not weaker than you but they're not as dominant as intense right like you're embodying the masculine energy and they're embodying the more feminine receptive energy and again i don't assign gender to my cards here's the thing though with the devil showing up here this is letting me know that there may be this little toxic dance that you and this person play which is why i now understand why your heart and your head keep fighting with each other when i see the devil attached to a divine pair that's letting me know that it's not just you're creating this toxic dynamic it's the both of you together there's something that you do when you come together with this person the interaction the dynamic between the two of you which it creates fireworks for the better and also for the worse don't forget, the Nine of Cups is all about emotional fulfillment. You and this person do fulfill each other emotionally. You guys check each other's emotional boxes. But then I feel like you guys are both also very, very headstrong and very, very determined. And neither of you wants to budge. And you're almost like, I'm right. And I'm right. And I'm right. And I'm right. And it's like, you guys, there's no, um, not budging, but there's no negotiation. There's no working with each other here. And when neither of you budges, you guys both think that you're right. You guys both think that your way is the best way. That's what creates this toxic dynamic. And I feel like this has been a recurring pattern between you and this person. Where this isn't your first rodeo with this person. You've been down this road before, which is, again, why I'm seeing the 
back and forth, which is why I'm seeing the I want to open up, but then it also doesn't make sense for me to do that. I get it. Let's take a look at this Eight of Swords for you in the near future. <clears throat> okay, so you got the Eight of Swords to pop out to clarify the Eight of Swords again, so I'm not going to take this because it's basically just repeating itself. So it's the universe's way of being like, hey, listen up. For the Eight of Swords in the near future, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Swords. You really are feeling a little bit stuck in your head here because, again, you do want to have this brand new beginning in love with this person. You want to move in their direction. You want to open up. You want to express how you feel. And it's showing up in the same row as um, opening up in the current situation. You have the desire to do that. But because you're overthinking this, because you're so up in your head about it, because you're overanalyzing this whole situation, it's almost like you're just kind of like, you know what? It's easier for me to just like not do anything and focus on myself. Let me nurture myself. Let me focus on my job. Let me focus on anything but acting based on how I feel. And you are coming from a place of love. You do definitely have love for this person. But I also understand why your mind is like super active when it comes to this connection. Because both of you are um, intellectually like a match for each other. So it's like you can't play the game not that you would play games but it's like you're usually the the smarter one the more intellectually nimble one in a connection and i feel like this person that you're dealing with like they're your match they they can play just as well as you can play type of thing hope that makes sense let's take a look at the hangman for you in the near future The hangman is clarified by the six of cups, the five of cups, and the nine of wands. Yeah, you're not really doing much. You're not moving one way or the other. What's beautiful, though, is that I do see you finally acknowledging this connection in the near future. It's like in the recent past, you wouldn't show me any emotions. It was all just like superficial, you know, surface level. In the current situation, it's like you're allowing the emotions to come to the surface more. You're not doing anything with them. You're still fighting them, but you're allowing the feelings to come up. In the near future, again, you're not doing much. You're not moving away or towards this person because the past keeps coming up something took place here in the past which is really putting you on guard which is letting me know like whatever this person did or said or however things unfolded between you two in the past didn't feel that great to you and you feel like if you are going to move in this person's direction or if you are going to invest in this somehow in this divine connection that you need to make sure that you're protected and you're guarded but because you don't feel comfortable making a decision quite yet and that's what this decision is that we were talking about you're not doing much. You're not really moving towards them or away from them. Oof, that's intense. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this week, Gemini. Oh, I get it now. From the universe, you get the King of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Empress. Yeah, you are the King of Swords to me. This person is your person. You look at them like a perfect match for you. They are literally, they're a snack and you're starving. But attached to this person is a lot of emotional pain, a lot of unprocessed emotional pain, which is why now I understand why this, this whole back and forth is happening. I feel like you do recognize that this person is the person you want to be with. They are, like I said, your person. Something happened between the two of you, though, which has tied up to this person a lot of pain. A lot of pain. And I feel like you don't really want to dive into that pain. But on the other hand, you also still have a lot of feelings tied up to this person. So you're kind of conflicted. That's why this decision is so big. Because you're trying to decide, do I walk away or do I move towards them? Do I follow my heart, right, what I'm feeling? Or do I follow what makes sense, my mind? Because, you know, like, I don't want to get hurt again. It does make sense, Gemini. This kind of wrapped it all up for me. Now I get it. So Gemini, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you here next week. Bye Gemini.